under darkening skies. The fans are not going anywhere. They are soaking in this moment. It is certainly historical here at NASCAR's history-filled track. Chris Devota alongside Kyle Petty and Dale Jarrett. You know, our job is to find the words to describe the pictures you're seeing. I don't know if there are words for this right now, Dale. No, and I'm going to apologize up front that right now I'm going to speak as a fan and as a friend of Jeff Gordon. And that is one of the most emotional things that I've watched. Uh, you know, we've seen so many things Kyle, through our years in this sport, but that was just incredible to watch this young man. Well, he's not a young man anymore, but he looks like a young man. You know, yeah, he is young in our world. But uh, to, to watch him, just how much that meant to him for his family to come in there, and you know, there, there are things that I look back on. Jeff Gordon changed the face of this sport, just as your dad did, and, and just as Dale Earnhardt did, and others along the way. But Jeff Gordon took this sport to different levels, and to see him have this success in the last year of his career, right here at the end, and give him a chance to win a championship was just incredible. Yeah, and, and I, I agree with everything that, that Dale just said, and, and agree with Kristen. I don't think there are words. When his, when she came up, the kids came up, the emotion in his voice, the way he jumped up and down. Apparently, that's great. Ingrid, his children, Ella and Leo, all with their hands on that car. Jeff knows these moments, he's, he talked about that, experiencing moments uh, do not come along often and we just have to cherish them when they do. Yeah, and, and, and I'll say this, we, we've talked about it, Dale and I have talked about it, we've talked about it on this show, talked about it on NASCAR America. He is a big moment player. Yeah. When the time comes and it's time to make something happen, he has made it happen in his whole career. It's hard to believe this is his last year and he's still pulling the same magic out of the house. Yeah, and, and just to dig down deep, I mean, you talk about digging down, he's done this 92 times before, as we said, but at how gut-wrenching those that last restart was for him to, to dig down and, and get him everything. It was very easy to overdrive the car. He's worn out the brakes by that time. We saw the rotors glow in the last 25 laps as he tried to get the lead and then hold on to it. Just incredible just to think about what take. I was sitting here nervous for him because you want it to happen. I mean, it, you know, I don't mean to pick favorites here, but, you know, for someone that has changed this sport as much as he did, that, that helped all of us uh, in this sport as much as what he has, you, you appreciate the effort that he's made and, and understanding how important today was and that he had to get the job done. Yeah, and, and I'll say it again. I said it last week. I'm going to have to eat crow again this week because I had him out in the first round. I will say that. But I'm going to tell you, the last 10 laps, I'm sitting here talking to him. Get up on that wheel. Yeah, Put yeah. that bumper. Get up inside there. Press, press, press. Don't be calm now. It's not about, it's all about winning right now. He couldn't hear me, but my God, I was calling him. Yeah, he couldn't hear us, and he couldn't hear all these fans yes. that were out here in the middle of, but they were right with him. Every move that he was making, it was just great to see them appreciate what they were seeing from Jeff Gordon, one of the best ever in this sport. Yeah, again, this is just, this is a big, big moment for our sport, and especially this year. And to set the scene again, like Dale and Kyle have been talking, our stage is located outside of Turn 2. There you see President Clay Campbell uh, celebrating with Jeff Gordon and presenting him with what goes to the winner at this racetrack, a grandfather clock, just ninth here at Martinsville. Yeah, he's got plenty of those to go around, so you got a clock for you. Listen, there's nothing more special than this one. I mean, to, uh, to, to, to close out my career and know that uh, I got a win in my final race at Martinsville, that is unbelievable. It's too good to be true. I, I can't... I can't wait to I can't wait to wake up from this dream that I'm in and know that when I stand next to that clock that it really did happen. Uh, gosh, I think everybody knows how special Martinsville is to me, but uh, you have no idea how much this means to this race team. And it's for so many reasons. I, I could go on all day, but I, I, I just can't tell you how excited I am to be a part of this moment right here. This is a really special moment. Joe Giuliano with goodies. And again, sort of 
setting the scene. We're located outside of Turn 2. Dale, you mentioned the fans that are all around here. All of us, we're watching that final restart. You called it gut-wrenching. You could see, again, looking up into the stands, the fans outside Turn 2, just on their feet. This moment was bigger than this race. This was one of the big moments uh, for this season, but I think in all of sports. Yeah, and, and certainly for this sport, you know, whenever they came up with this format, this is exactly the kind of things that they were hoping would happen. You can't script it all out and say, you know, we need big moments here and, and there. But this obviously gives a lot of credence to what has happened here. Here's a driver and a team that has had good runs, but has struggled at times too, just as, as Jeff mentioned there. But because of the format, because of being consistent, doing the things that Jeff Gordon did to get them through the first two rounds as a driver and, and a championship driver, now they find themselves being able to battle for a championship. And just as he said, you can't count him out of homestead at all. No, no, you can't. You can't count him out. And because of the format, and we keep talking about it, and I've said it on, on before, we, we kept talking about, well, everybody's talking about Jeff Gordon winning the championship. He's got to win a race first. Yeah. You know what I mean? In my mind, he's got to win. My God, he did that today. Yeah. And, and we're sitting here watching everything that's going on. And you, you guys can't see it at home because it's got it's so dark here. But about a third of the fans have moved around to the front step stretch, and they have stayed from victory lane celebrations. A lot of times you see everybody just leave, but you can still hear the fans cheering. We're all the way on the back stretch, and it sounds like they're standing right behind us. There are fans on the front stretch, there's fans in the grandstands. This, this is, and, and Dale said, this is a historic moment. I, I, don't, I don't care. I know it's his 93rd win, but what this meant, win meant to this team, to this man, to this sport, at this time, and in the second year of the chase, this, this is really, really great. This is to a champ.
they uh, put on different sponsor hats, get pictures taken, and it's really just an opportunity for the for the entire team to celebrate what was accomplished today. Yeah, and, and I, I think most of the time you see these guys, they'll throw the hats out to the fans. These guys are saving these hats right here. <laughs> this is a big deal. Uh, it, this is a huge deal for the, this, this team, too. They have worked to put Jeff Gordon, their driver, the man they believe in, the guy that they've watched. A lot of these guys, their whole career, they grew up Jeff Gordon oh, fans. No. Now they're changing tires. And they're saving these hats. We'll keep these hats. We're not going to see these on eBay. No. Okay. These are these are keepsakes and personal memories that these guys are saving. Yeah, you know, and, and again, this is win number 93 for, for Jeff Gordon. And as of right now, as a driver in this position, he's had a long, hard day. But he would do pretty much anything they ask of him right now. Well, whatever hat they wanted, but obviously it has to be within his sponsors and things. But you just appreciate the opportunity of this. And, and then, I, I can't speak for, for the emotion of... This being, you know, the, the season was winding down. His opportunities were winding down to be a part of that battle yeah. in Homestead. And here he was able to go out and grab it and do it the right way. I, I don't know if you guys just caught that, Jeff. Just turn around. That was Kyle Busch. He came to victory lane and shook his hand. How many times have we seen Kyle Busch walk yeah. away because he finished second? Yeah. You know what I mean? Because he was upset because he finished second. That's a lot of class by Kyle Busch to come. And the respect that he has for Jeff Gordon and what Jeff Gordon means. Big, big kudos to, to Kyle Busch for doing that. Yeah, we saw Jimmy Johnson come earlier, saw yes. Casey Kane in there. And just, you know, the, the respect that this man has gained over the years for, for what he's done for this sport and the opportunity. So, so many of the young drivers are getting opportunities because of Jeff Gordon. Yes. They're getting big dollars. And that's not the end of it, but they're getting big dollar sponsorship and personal services deal because of doors that Jeff Gordon has opened uh, through his 23 years here. There he's high-fiving his crew chief, Alan Gustafson, and Kyle Bush actually used to be a teammate of Jeff Gordon. He used to race 400 motorsports. Well, no doubt this was Jeff Gordon's day that has now turned into night. We have a lot more to talk about. We're going to hear from drivers. We're also going to discuss the controversy between Joey Logano and Matt Kenseth. That's coming up.